time do you like this look? It's called When Stress Met Crazy. Um, okay, so I have had a busy, busy weekend. Today's like my day off. So, <laughs> so Friday, um, my trainer came and my nephews. And so Shelby, like, right as Shelby was, like, pulling up the driveway, like, here's Shelby pulling up the driveway, and here's Natalie and the boys, like, right behind. So they showed up at the same time, and I have, well, it's not mine, it's Shelby's. I don't know if y'all have heard of it. Hold on. It's called Boastable. Ow. I almost, like, killed my toe. You see this thing? It's called a Bosa ball, like B with a B O S O, and you can use both sides of it. Could you imagine trying to stand on this flat end to balance? It's very tricky just to stand on that bubbly side. Um, but my hunter nephew calls it a trampoline, and he likes to jump on it. So. Um, when I wasn't doing certain exercises on there, he was like jumping. So I'm like working out, doing something, holding his hands, or hand while he was jumping is cute and funny. So then, so I worked out for an hour, and then my nephews were spending the night because today is actually today is Sunday, the 29th of June, and it's my sister-in-law's birthday. So um. Oh, my father's calling me. Does this thing have any battery in it? I don't think so. Hold on. Hello? So, anyway, um, yeah. So, after my trainer left, normally I have time to, like, just take a shower and, like, have down chill time, like, relax, whatever. But, no, I have, um, a busy chasing... I have their two three-year-olds, so, um, and then my grandparents came over, so all of that hullabaloo and just running ragged, and then yesterday was Leah's birthday party, and I got me a little glitter tattoo. Um, she did, like, what I did down at the beach, so, but it was crazy, crazy, like, it took forever to get there because of traffic. It's like a thousand years to find a spot to park. When we finally did, my mom somehow got a stain on her shorts while like on the way to the beach. So then we had to continue driving around to find a store to get her a new pair of shorts or pants or something. But in doing, <coughs> excuse me, but in doing so, down at point. Point Pleasant Beach, like, when you go inland into the town, there's a lot of nice, cute shops, like, in Simon shops and just whatever. So, my mom's like, we should come back and, like, go shopping, like, fun. So, there's that, and then today, you know, oh, and then we, we left, like, my mom and I, we left around, oh, close to 9. Yeah. Or was it 9.30? It was close to 9.30. Uh-huh. <laughs> and, um, my mom got herself an ice cream cone. I wish I could, but instead I got myself a large fry. French fries? And then we headed back to the car. And on our way home, my poor mom and daddy, they had to get up at, like, 6. So my mom got up at 6.30 this morning. I don't know what time my dad did. Um, and then they've been off into the city all day doing work stuff they're at a food show and it's also pride week i remember last year i'm like when did you guys do this last year's pride week and like my dad was like he had no idea it's pride week so he was like thrown for off guard there i'm like ooh, pride week hey because demi lovato you see me in a music video i really don't care and i'm not saying that i don't because i do that's just the title of the song oh my god the song's my life but seriously um and so she filmed it, and then she had another flash contest thingy for and a show performance she's doing today, but it wouldn't have worked out anyway because my parents already had something to do. So today's like my chill coma day. 
I slept in till 2. I didn't go to bed till like sometime around 3 o'clock ish because I have a lot on my mind. So, like, my mind's just gonna implode with all that's on it. Um, some of it I probably could share, but I just, I just don't, I just like out of respect for certain people, I'm not going to. So, yeah, just craziness all around. And I'm going away. Uh, um, the Florida before the July. Before the July is on a Friday. I know I come back on a Monday. Am I? I don't even know what the hell I'm doing to be honest. I think I thought my mom said we we're oh we're packing Tuesday night and leaving Wednesday. So am I gonna miss my group Thursday? I don't know. I'm trying to figure this out because I was talking to my friend on the phone. Guess you know I do that now. I talk to people on telephones <laughs> and. He and, and my friend, they wanted to have my mom because we were trying to figure out when we, when we could hang out and stuff. So my mom's like, oh, we'll be busy Tuesday. I think she said busy Tuesday packing. So maybe I'll get to hang out with my friend tomorrow. But tomorrow I have my workout too. Oh, craziness. It's so like, okay, when you're like gross and you really need to take a shower and you really want to take a shower because you know you'll feel better. But you're like, but wait. Tomorrow I'm going to work out and be more gross. I should just wait and work out after my workout. Not work out after my workout, but shower after my workout. See, my brain's like, hello. Not working. <laughs> and this is, okay, so let me tell you something. This is the second, I know, I do this a lot. I don't know why, but, um, this may be gross. Well, it's not totally gross, but whatever. Who doesn't? Okay, raise your hand if you don't bring your cell phone into the bathroom with you. Where are your doing your business or you're going to the brush your teeth or whatever, right? So I must have, the first time I went to go use the bathroom when I got up, I left my phone on my bed, I'm pretty sure. I guess I decided the second time to bring it, I don't know why. So then I'm just chilling like in my bed, just relaxing. And I decide like, where's my phone? Like, I don't know, I was gonna call my mom, I guess, because she's like, wrote a note, call me later. And I'm thinking, call you maybe. <laughs> so, I'm searching my bed, I'm taking it apart. I'm like, it's not in the sheet, it's not in this blanket, it's not in the other blanket, it's not under the pillow, like, OMG. And plus it's on vibrate. <laughs> so, I'm like, let me get the house phone. So I get the house phone to call it. I'm like on my bed to see if I could hear any vibration or feel a vibration on my bed. No. I'm looking all around on the floor thinking maybe it's under the bed, maybe it fell off the bed. And then a thought popped into my head and I'm like, wait a minute, why don't you just check the bathroom? So I checked my bathroom and lo and behold, there was my telephone. So I hang up the house phone, I put it back on the hook and then I look down at my phone and I said, that's odd. There's a missed call from my mom, but she didn't leave a voicemail message. I'm like, I should call her back. So while I'm calling her back, my house phone starts ringing, and I'm like, is she trying to call me? I'm like, my first thought is she trying to get a hold of me and couldn't on my cell phone because I didn't answer. So now she's going to the house phone, or is that my dad? Like, who's trying to get a hold of me? And then I'm like, I'm not going to answer the house phone because I'm trying to call my mother on my cell phone. It can wait. And then it dawned on me, oh, that's because I used the house phone to try to find my phone and whether it's a cell phone, a house phone, or a work phone, it all shows up as, under the same name as my mom. So I'm like, three, I'm not like totally out of it today. Um, <laughs> so anyways, um, yeah, I'm just out of it. My mom last night, she's like, because it's 82 degrees out right now, it could go up to 84. My mom's like, if you're gonna be anywhere tomorrow, be in your bedroom. Um, I came downstairs to make soup, which I'm doing right now, and it's probably like boiling over. But anyway, real quick is like, we got central air, and I've been just, some of my videos talking about the love of the fact that we finally have central air, but guess what? It's a piece of crap. I don't know why or how, but for what feels like forever ago, it just doesn't ever seem to be working. The only... Well, my mom's bedroom is nice and cool because she's a separate unit. Sometimes the kitchen can be cool. If you go in the back muffin room, there's like a room AC that's like, you know, Mondo Blasto of coldness. So it's really cool back there if you sit there and turn that on. 
My bathroom sometimes feels nice and not as deadly as it normally would in the summer, and sometimes it doesn't. My bedroom held to the no. I always have my ceiling fan on at night. But this last week-ish and more, I've been having... Luckily, we never took my room window air conditioner out. You know, the ones you put into the windows? Because I've been having that on, like, nonstop. Because seriously, this living room is, like, a 1,000 degrees. And I've been wanting to say something to my mom, but at the same time, like, not wanting to upset her because she paid a lot of money for central air. And then she finally noticed it on her own. So my dad was, like, fiddling around. I gave him the manual to try to figure out how to set the AC. And he's like, oh, it's set at 78. And I guess that's what it's kind of been at when I wanted at 68. So I'm just like, oh, my God. Like, you come down here, like, you are melting. Like, my poor friend Jason and I... Like, we like to watch movies. Like, we can't stand the heat, so, like, why be outside when it's dead, god-awful deadly? So, we sit on the couch over there to watch movies, because we have a movie list, and we like to check them off as we go along. And he's like, can I have a cold washcloth? And he's saying there's, like, on his face, and I'm just like, oh, my God. I'm like, Jason, we were, like, dying. I'm like, I kept checking on the air conditioning thingy and I kept saying it was on but like we're melting and I'm like I feel so sorry and then like the basement isn't any cooler normally like people's basements are nice and cold like his is a meat locker so we gotta figure all this out I gotta figure out what the hell is going down this week it looks like I'm getting on an airplane which it's been a while so that'll be fun and interesting and scary all at the same time <sighs> oh my gosh um and just other things you know other stuff um <laughs> you know do y'all know the app whisper where like you share your secrets and stuff so i'm on there i found it because of a friend and i was talking about it because like sometimes i'll share things on there but then other things i don't and i said to him i feel like some things are better left unwhispered <laughs> like you know how some things are better left unsaid so because i'm like i don't know and like my therapist psychologist whatever you want to call her she's on vacation i don't know when she gets back so right now like a lot of stuff has been going down where like i could really use a therapist and guess what she's on vacation so i have to wait till i'm a group and can talk to the facilitator about my personal problems but hopefully when like next week or so she'll be back and then i know she takes some time off in august before school starts and then she has her fall schedule so, <laughs> yeah, just craziness, craziness, craziness. But it looks like, well, after midnight, all the June birthdays will be out of the way. Not that I'm complaining, because I sure as hell loved my birthday, and I know Leah had fun, and my brother took my sister-in-law out to dinner and to the city, and that's got to be a nice evening, and hopefully she's enjoying her day today. Um... And this thing looks like it needs to be charged. I don't know. I gotta. I should start making a list of all things that I need to bring because I have a lot of stuff down there in Florida, and then some stuff I need to bring, and then there's stuff down there that I think I want to bring home. Unless I'm gonna be down there again, but I'm not gonna be down there again till like December. And then I need some stuff because like when it's winter time, you can leave a lot down there because. You don't need like all your shorts and stuff, but when it's summertime, you kind of do. I don't know. I'm trying to make it so that like I have a pair, like a set pair of like three to four shorts down there, and then I have shorts here, so I'm not like whatever, okay? And I need to make, you know, I don't know. But then you do have your certain certain things like stuffed animals and certain little trinkets and treasures of your own that not, that can't be a duplicate, duplicated, replicated. You can't have two of them. There's only one because it's special to you. So those travel with you wherever you go. So, But like your chargers, your cameras, like it's not even have two cameras, you know, I have one camera. I got to make sure I pack all my chargers and everything like that and all that fun stuff. And there's, okay, so, I know there's, like, videos all over the place because my brain is all over the place, but my favorite of all time movie theaters is the Silver Spot Cinema down at the Mercado in Naples because 
you walk in, okay, so you walk in to the movie theater or, or the concession ticket stand because outside is where you get your tickets. So you walk in and to your, so you're walking in, to your right is an actual restaurant. Like you can dine and have dinner and then see a movie or see a movie and then dinner. Which I recommend seeing a movie first because then at dinner you'd have something to talk about. So, <laughs> there's a, I mean, it's nothing fancy, but as far as like a restaurant and a movie theater is concerned, it's fancy. Then on your left, you have your concession stand where you can have anything from your Mike and Ike's to a piece of chocolate cake, from your can of Coke to your glass of Pinot Grigio. Like, seriously, like, you can have alcohol, you can have food food, you can just have your regular old concessional stuff that one would get at a normal movie theater. Then, you you know, the ticket guy, do the ticket thing, you go into your theater and you're in these giant ass leather seats which is so freaking comfortable. It's like, oh my God, and it's just like amazing. So my mom told me, she said even closer to where we live, okay, like, you come out, like, there's multiple entrances and exits <laughs> to my community, but you leave my community one way, I don't know, and you're at a traffic light, and you'd make like a left towards, towards Carlton, I think headed that way towards Vanderbilt Beach. There's a new movie theater, and she said it's even better than the Mark the Silver Spot Cinema because this movie theater has reclining chairs and I'm just like you have me at reclining chairs like hello <laughs> we gotta check this sucker out my mom's like we should just go in our pajamas I'm like okay <laughs> we gotta find something that appropriate then <laughs> no but seriously though reclining chairs in a movie theater oh my god like heaven on earth I mean I thought that other place banging man this place gotta be awesome so I can't wait to check that out. I know there's movies that I want to see and I've wanted to see some with my friends, but that hasn't happened yet. Just probably wait till it's on demand and then watch it in my living room. Um, cause that's what we do. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so I'm kind of looking forward to it. Kind of just like, oh my gosh, like there's other things going on at the same time. And I'd rather be here for that, but I don't know. I just, I just, I, I gotta get my stuff together and in order here, yeah, I don't know what's going on with me. <sighs> so I should probably like, I don't know, check out my soup. At least it's a little something, something to eat. And then it's almost four o'clock just, and then I'll probably have dinner soonish. Then I'm gonna call my friend, cause I call someone to talk to, because I don't have anyone to talk to right now but you guys. Or I'm gonna have Squeaky, she's upstairs. And I'm just have to try to decide where the hell I want to be. I could put the AC on in my mom's room and hang out in there and watch TV. Or I could stay down here where it's hot and watch this TV. Speaking of TV, Girl Meets World season premiere it was Friday and it was really cute. It's definitely like, so the same producers that did Boy Meets World, I mean no one could ever like match Boy Meets World, did, is doing Girl Meets World. So it's kind of like, you can definitely see similarities in things, like it's definitely got like a Boy Meets World feel, but it also has a Disney Channel show feel too. So it's very interesting in that aspect, and it's just funny because, what is his name, Ben Savage, that plays Corey Matthews, it's kind of like, it's weird because you're looking at him and he's so old, no offense to him, but like, he acts like how Corey Matthews did when he was a little boy in Boy Meets World. So it's very like, whoa, what? What's going on? And then the Mr. Feeney makes a little teen cameo. It's cute. But no, I actually like it and can't wait to watch it. It's going to be like my new Hannah Montana slash Good Luck Charlie slash. There'll never be a, a new, my, there'll never be a Hannah Montana again. <laughs> of course there won't. But you know when you have like a show, it's like your go-to show for things. Like, I don't know. But anyway. So there's that business, then there's like, I don't know what else there is, but there's stuff, and then, um, <laughs> ooh, um, there's this show my cousin was talking about, and I was trying to find it, because he said it was on TLC, because usually TLC does shows involving little people, but this is actually on Lifetime. I started watching one on demand, but I had to 
stop it because I had to make a phone call again. Me and my phone calls. Um, <laughs> and my dad's like, can you put like a big bang on for me? So I'm like, sure. It's Little Women of LA. Oh my god. It looks like one of those like, like real housewives, like drama type of shows. So those little people. Oh my gosh. I'm excited. I want to go watch one of those. See if there's anything else I need to catch up on, and uh, I'm not ashamed to say it, but I watched the Kate Plus 8 two-part special, part one and two, and I'm just like, oh, she's gotten lovelier, and at first, like, I at first had these certain thoughts in my head about her and her parentingness, but then I just realized, you know what, isn't this lovely, <laughs> you know what, like, the way she parents, that's just not the way I would do it. And just because it's not the way I would do it, that doesn't mean it's the wrong way. It's just a different way. I try to put a positive spin on everything. Anyway, this video's getting long. I mean, when are they not long? <laughs> Unless they're short. So, yeah, I'm going to go fiddle, well, go feed myself my soup and figure out the rest of my evening. Um, and what the hell I'm going to do tomorrow. And, um... Yeah, so, sorry for all this inappropriateness with my, with my, this, but anyway, man, before I say anything stupid or ridiculous, um, I'm gonna go, entertain myself somehow in some way, so anyway, yep, my lunch, um, my, yeah, my lunch is calling me, and so it's the television, and I'm really tired. I'm so tired. I've been like emotionally exhausted. I'm just like, oh my gosh. This weekend, I said it. It was crazy. It has me exhausted. And then I find news out. Find some news out last night. I found something out last night that was sad. And I'm just like, why? 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 Why does all this stuff have to happen simultaneously? And why do I have to? I'm not personally affected by it. Why does it? I'm just such a sensitive person. I just take everything on, and, and I'm like, why do I have to feel pain? I'm like, can I just for once be a emotionless robot and just like, why do I have to care so much? Why am I so nice? Do you have a clue? Cause I don't. Well, I kind of do, but I don't know. Anyway, I'm really for real now. I'm gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> Should really charge my camera while I'm thinking of it. Okay, so thank y'all so much for being here. Yes, this video is long, kooky, wacky, and of all sorts, sorts, shapes, colors, and sizes. Hello there. So I just want to thank y'all so much for being here, and I'll see, I'll see you guys soon. Until then, keep it quirky. <laughs>